So in the previous video, we have gone through on how you can handle the customer information in AutoCount. Next, I will move on to product. There are certain things that you need to do in your master data product so that you can accommodate the latest e-invoice requirement. Let's edit one of the products and move on to e-invoicing tab. I will show you what are the things that you need to do. First, classification. So basically, you need to know this product is under which classification code. So if you do not find any of the categories provided, usually we will just select 0 to 2 others. Second unit type, that is the e-invoice measurement. So we have all the LHDA measurement units over here. You will have to map accordingly to the measurement from the LHDN. So when we submit the e-invoice, we know what measurement we use to submit to the LHDN so that they can recognize. The good news over here is this field is optional right now. It is not compulsory. So if you leave it blank, it's okay. For this case, we just leave it blank. The third thing is must generate e-invoice. So this must generate e-invoice is a flag. For the system to know if this particular product or service is an item that is compulsory to issue e-invoice. For example, according to LHDN guideline, selling cars and motor vehicles, you will need to issue an e-invoice. You cannot consolidate for such item. Another example will be construction materials. So you can find all this information in the LHDN guideline. So if the items that you are selling fall within the category that cannot perform consolidated, we will have to tick this checkbox, must generate e-invoice. But for now, this is a chair. It is not something that is compulsory to issue an invoice. Then we just leave it unchecked. Last click on save by changing the classification code, then you are done.